Sakai MPK Mini so you can have it working with Drum Designer in Logic Pro X. Let's go. So first thing you want to do, you want to log into the website in the description that I have below. Um, you're going to hit where it says uh, View Downloads. Now the one that says MPK Mini Software, you're going to click that and you're going to download for your version, whether it's Mac or PC, I have a Mac. Once you hit download, you're going to download and install it. Go ahead and open it up here. And you'll notice that it'll have a few products that already came with it and things like that. So what you got to do next is you won't see the editor show up. How to let it show up in this here, in this section, you'd have to go here and click the little cog here and where it says show advanced software. Now you'll see it show up right here. You'll go ahead and install the one that's for you, uh, whether it's the MPK Mini 3, uh, MK3 or the MK2. Once you have clicked it and installed it, you're going to click open and it should launch the editor. And this is the editor here. I'm going to show you how to set this up to work with Drum Designer inside of Logic Pro X. MPK Mini program, you're going to select Tools and Auto Populate. The next thing you're going to do is select where it says Set Scale starting with C Note 1, Chromatic Up. And then you're going to apply to Bank A and B. After you do that, you're going to hit Close. And then you're going to hit Send to Program 1. Then you're going to hit Send to RAM. All right, after you've done that, you're going to close the program. And I'll show you. So, what you have to do now is go out and open up Logic. All right. Empty project. And you're going to do new software instrument. And over here, you're going to select the drum designer. And what you have to do, make sure that you click here where it says empty kits, because what will happen is it will start to load these here already. So make sure you just click empty kit and let's load a kit here. Let's go to 808 flex. So watch what happens when I push the buttons or the pads here on the MPK mini. I'm going to go in order. Then I'm going to switch the bank. Now, if you notice, they're not in order at all. So to get this to work correctly and work in order, what you have to do is click here, and then you're gonna go to where it said, sort pad chromatically. Now watch what happens, and I'm gonna go in order again. And as you can see, everything is in order. And that's how you get it the Akai MPK Mini to work with Drum Designer inside of Logic Pro X.